found a little metal shelf. I believe they used it for bread, some kind of a bread rack. Um, anyway, I turned it into something very interesting. I worked on it for about two days. And uh, I made one of these for my golf cart. Came out pretty good. I had to cut it up, it wasn't uh, wide enough, and uh, I added the trim, the zigzag, to the front. It's not very high, so it won't interfere with my glass when I fold it down, and uh, pretty neat. Today I also installed my uh, new glass. It's pretty neat, it was very, uh, very easy to put in. I paid eighty five dollars for it. It was it was it was, an, it was a good deal. Um, I also installed today a if you can see it in there a thirty six volt reducer to twelve volt, and also installed a uh, cigarette lighter in there too. Actually, it pops out into the front. Where the hole used to be there, there's a factory hole that used to be there. And it's pretty neat, it's waterproof, it's a marine. And uh, charge phones and so on and so forth. It's pretty neat. This golf cart was given to me for free. So, it was uh, an interesting uh, thing. I spent about $700 on new batteries. And uh, I installed the rear seat on it. Got it brand new. Ordered it from uh, Amazon. And the guy, as a matter of fact, he's looking at those lights there. <laughs> One of the lenses was missing. All I could find was an amber laying around for now. So I installed that. And I have um, new bulbs in there. Because the old ones kept blowing out, didn't have the reducer. And uh, what you see in between the lights there is a temporary cover I made for my battery charger. So I don't have to keep taking it in and out. I just back it up next to my RV and just plug it right into it. And uh, it's very convenient. You know, I just leave it right on the golf cart unless I'm somewhere where I think it's going to be uh, stolen or something. But uh, it's a nice golf cart. It, it hits almost 15 miles an hour. It does between 13 and 15 miles an hour with brand new batteries. I'm not complaining. Uh, it's got pretty good tires considering. It's, it's a TXT Easy Go. And it came with these utility LED light. Uh, only one, actually. And it's very powerful. Um, I gotta check what kind it is, but it, it lights up the whole street, I gotta tell you. And this was rated at 36 volt. You can hook it up to 12 volt, all the way up to 30, I believe 36 or 48 volts. A lot of fire engines and emergency vehicles use it. So, it's a it's nice little, um, it's not little actually, it's a nice light. This is my little experiment for camouflage, black and white. I don't know if I'm going to keep it that way, but I figured let me try it out. Took some plants and just put it on there and sprayed over them. And it came out pretty good, I thought. I don't know if I want the whole golf cart like that, though. I want to put some real colorful brown and beige and green and a little bit of black in there. Um... What else did I do to this thing? I made this whole rack from scratch. I mean, I made the, the brackets there that are holding it out of 10 gauge steel and um, it's 10 gauge sheet metal actually and it's very sturdy. It doesn't go anywhere. It's very, very sturdy. Uh, other things I did to this, I put a mirror on it that I had laying around in my garage. 
and I had it in there for years. I finally found some use for it. And uh, oh yeah, I did I did do something interesting. I made some mud flaps for it because when I installed the rear seat, uh, it was people were sitting in the back were getting splashed by the water. So what I did is I cut out some. It was actually the back seat of a chair, plastic. And uh, I cut it out in two, and I put one on each side. It's pretty neat. It's a little bit uh, full of mud right now, and a little scratch too. I need to shine it up a little bit. I'll get to that when I'm done with this thing. But uh, that's it. I'm planning to put some heavy-duty springs on it. I uh, ordered them from eBay. And I think I will be putting a rack on the roof. I'll probably be making that myself also, but a little bit of work. I got some tubing that I found. I don't know what they were using it for, but it's nice tubing. It looks like half inch tubing or something like that. So I'm going to be cutting it up and making a nice rack for my roof. And what else did I order for this thing? I did order, oh yeah, I did order something else today. I did order some LED lights for the back of my, um, for the back of the golf cart itself because those are good temporarily. They light up pretty good. But um, they do get very, very hot. And I'm sure they draw quite a bit. So I ordered two LED lights. And I'm going to be uh, installing those with just running lights for now. But they can be, uh, they do come with three wires if you want to put brake light and signal light. Which later on I'll definitely want to make it street legal or semi street legal um, I want to bring this into public parks and uh, I'm sure we want to enjoy it and especially at night it would be good to have some running lights um, I might be adding some small LEDs to the roof after I put my roof rack on it and um, maybe maybe it'll be um, convenient to just I do have some wires going up this pipe here this front there and it must have been some kind of security cart they must have had a strobe light up there or something and they do have switch an extra switch for it which I tested and it has two one for the headlight and the rear light and one for this top strobe light it must have been a strobe light anyway so, we'll see what happens. Take care.